Hi guys and welcome to part three. Um, just to have a quick look round now, we are nearly finished on the panel inside. As you can see that's the roof and the sides. Uh, we've got underneath here the plywood. The shelf has been fitted at the front. At the back again, we've got the shelf across there, obviously the back as well, and underneath is panelled as well. Uh, I think this side was already done on the last video, if memory serves. And obviously we've got the other side on as well. Uh, we've had a few changes uh, since part two. Um, we've moved the control panel. The control panel was going here um, on this, uh, this front locker. Uh, that's been moved to over here. Uh, that's going to be on the uh, wardrobe front there. Uh, with all the other controls for the the heater and for the uh, the gas gas bottle as well, um, we've also added um, an external uh, input for an aerial TV aerial, which will be going on here somewhere. So the the, the wiring's in. We haven't got the product yet, so this this panel at the minute is loose. Uh, we've not got any insulation behind there yet because we've. As you can see, the wiring's in, but we uh, we need to, to get that fitted before I can I'm finishing everything else off. So I can't get the roof lined yet uh, on the sides, but I am going to be making a start on this back quarter. Um, so I will start that and I will take another video. Okay, so that's one side done. Got to trim the uh, the bottom bit yet. That's uh, that's come out quite nice. That it's got into the uh, to the corners nicely. I'm 
I'm happy with that. All down that edge as well. That's fully trimmed off. Uh, I finished it here because we're going to be putting um, a shelf, if you will, in the furniture board. So I didn't need to go all the way back with that. Plus, I'm going to have to be uh, bonding some timber here to make this level. Because if you look, it does angle down to one side. So I'm going to have to pack that that back up to get this straight so I couldn't have carpet on that. Uh, right, so. Uh, that's cut nice and neat around there as well. Next stage for me now, because uh, I can't do the other side at the minute, I'm going to uh, have a look at doing the roof and um, we'll do a quick video on that. Right, okay. Um, the next bit now should have been a video of, of me actually lining the roof out, uh, but unfortunately the, the, the file itself, uh, I, don't, I don't know, it didn't work, it wouldn't let me load. So this is... Um, the roof finished, and obviously the sides as well. Uh, it's come out really nice and neat, I'm really pleased with it. Um, I did uh, get a video of actually doing the wheel arch, so I'll, uh, I'll show you that now. So, uh, the vehicle's completely lined out now. As you can see, I've, uh, I've left that again on this side uh, to, to bridge that up. And on that side as well, just so I can level that up with some furniture board later. Uh, all this is carpeted up here and all finished off. Uh, it's trimmed off under there. Nice and neat to the cab headlining. Uh, into the corners and everything there as well. So the next stage for this one um, is going to be fitting the windows, uh, roof vent, putting the lights in and things like that. But the next big big stage will be, is going to be the floor. Um, we've got some crash tested seats that we've got to fit in this one. Uh, so I've got to reinforce uh, the floor on the inside as well as putting plates on the, on, on the underneath as well. Uh, but that'll be in the next video. Um, so if you've got any questions or anything like that, uh, leave them in the comment section below, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, but many thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye bye.